Not only is it a beautiful day for a bike ride, but it's the perfect opportunity to show support for those living with mental health at the Canadian Mental Health Association's second annual Ride Don't Hide bike event. Ride Don't Hide is a community event. Um, we have 29 branches across Canada participating. Uh, this is Niagara's second year, which is really exciting. Uh, we're hoping it'll grow every year. Um, essentially, what this ride is all about is opening up the conversation to help break the stigma against mental health um, issues and illnesses, so that way people feel like um, they, they know um, about the services that CMHA uh, across Canada offers as well as you know knowing that there's a support system and that it, there's nothing wrong with having a mental illness and that it's okay to talk about it. We had 140 riders registered before um, June 26th. Last year we only had a little bit over 100 so we've increased quite a bit. Yeah. Can you tell me about the different rides taking place today? Yeah, absolutely. So we have um, a five kilometer on campus. So we'll be driving around um, Brock's campus. It's very nice. Um, then we have 15 kilometer and 35 kilometer routes. Um, so they're a little more challenging. Uh, they extend into Pelham. It's a very scenic route. It's really beautiful, but there are quite a few hills. This year's Ride Don't Hide ambassador Kevin Rempel, also a Paralympic bronze medalist, was on site to share his story of overcoming adversity and living with mental illness. And so today we show that we're not alone by riding, not hiding. And what does your role of ambassador include this year? Spreading the message about how despite whatever mental health challenges you have is that there's help available and that there is a way out. Because I know firsthand through my own challenges personally that I've lived, um, through my dad who ended up taking his own life in 2007, that I know how debilitating that feeling can be. But I want you to see that it's possible to get yourself out of those situations and it just takes you taking the first step of asking for help. Amanda, what brings you out to Ride Don't Hide today? Um, I think it's good to have community awareness. Um, mental health affects everybody um, and mostly every family in the community has a family member or a friend that it's affected so I think it's just to end the stigma to understand that it affects everybody and everyone should be supportive and help out raise money be aware aware of it. Rachel what brings you out to Ride Don't Hide today? Um, I'm actually a proud board member with the CMHA Niagara. Um, part of the reason uh, where my passion lies with mental illness is I have a, uh, a sister who struggles with it so um, that's why I, I wanted to join the board and get involved, um, so that's why I'm here today. Yeah. Can you tell us about the team that you're riding with today? Yeah, so I got behind me, I have a bunch of advisors with me, a couple of clients, friends. Um, we have more coming, actually, I have some family coming as well. So I think we have about 12 of us on the Freedom 55 team, and uh, we've raised $12,000 for the Ride Don't Hide of Niagara. We've surpassed our targets for last year. And we continue to build. Next year is going to be even greater. Uh, nationally, uh, the national target, although all the money stays in Niagara, that's raised in Niagara, we sort of cumulatively counted. So our national target last year was a million, and we met over that. This year it's 1.5 million. They should surpass that again nationally. And of course, our portion that we raise here in Niagara stays in Niagara for mental health services right here. Uh, do you have an idea of how many people in Niagara are actually using your services? Yes, it's about 4,000 per year that come through our services. More than 150 riders came out for Ride Don't Hide today, putting their support into high gear and biking up to 35 kilometers to show their support for those living with mental health. At Brock University, I'm Katie Jones reporting for The Source.